15th of April 2009, the Ungulungu Meerkat Group in the Meerkat Magic Valley, the Meerkat Magic Conservation Project, Otsur in Western Cape, South Africa. Ungulungu Group has just seen a pale chanting goshawk a few hundred meters away flying low and they all proceeded to run to this bolt hole and we should see lots of excavation happening here possibly some scent marking of the area since they have not been to this bolt hole for a long period of time there's a lot of sniffing of the shrubs in this area because this is in fact a range overlap with another group of meerkats the Katunguru group we're right into the overlap at the moment by a few hundred meters meerkat territories basically join up together and wherever they meet up there could be burrows that are shared but not at the same time so groups are constantly marking over burrow networks used by different groups and if they arrive at the same time the same place of course they'll even try and kill one another so the scent marking is a way of preventing that kind of aggression by leaving a warning message behind we think Yeah, that's a rare call to hear. That's another meerkat scent. It's from a different group, and they're making that sound. And the others have come up to investigate it as well now. They're standing in my shadow. It's starting to get hot. Have you heard that sound before, Laura? Mm -hmm. It's very rare. And here we've got the digging happening now. There's a lot of what we call overmarking happening here. They're putting their scent over the other Meerkat group scent. Wow, it's unusual for that spider killing wasp to get so close.
So as mentioned, when groups get a fright from something and run to a nearby bolt hole, there's usually scent marking, they renovate the burrow, they groom each other quite a bit, and then usually a bit of play frighting like this breaks out afterwards. And then they start gradually heading off to go get some food. Some of them are resting because it's quite late in the day already. They've been up for a few hours. It's getting a bit warm. They're still getting spooked quite easily by little sounds that they're making crunching twigs and so on, setting them off. Play fighting is a very ritualized behavior, not just for fun or building of skills. Some people believe animals play to practice skills like agility and dexterity and so on. It's a social bonding quite often with the younger generations of meerkats. It's also a sign of good condition when they've got extra energy to burn up, basically. But the ritualized aspect comes in when meerkats have powerful teeth and nails and they get old and they could really damage each other. They don't, and they back away from the conflict. So it never becomes something very severe, as it would if they were to encounter another meerkat group, which is quite possible today, since they're right on the boundary of another group territory here. Bit of scent marking there with the cheek glands on the vegetation at the entrance of the burrow. Over marking of the scent of the other group's territory.